Alex plucks a uh, tree out of the ground. Oh gosh, he's buffer than I remember. Good day, good people. It's another fine day in the year of the Zenith Toon Link. Dave Anomaly, the Enola Cars. Few know me as the man whose iPad is at 1%, but hey, it's plugged in and I got a wheel to spin. But for most, I am the United States Saver. Welcome back to another phenomenal, fantastic tag team OC action episode of the. Oh, yeah, that sounds like the Donald Rumpa Hunger Games live chat. How are you on this day prior to July 4th, the United States holiday in the Hunger Games? I'm good. I hope y'all are doing well too. Hopefully, you know, all of you, all of the uh, old American folk have Monday off and then have a good celebration with your cookouts and your, and your, your barbecues and whatnot. And to everyone else, I'm sorry tomorrow's Monday. May you survive. <laughs> But hey, we got so many OC tag teams, some new, some old, and I'm excited to introduce them all. Let's go ahead, without a doubt, without a moment's delay, introduce all of the OCs who are here. We got all the OCs, we got the OC tag team champions amped up, and we got the OC agents of chaos, tag team agents of chaos, because it's the first ever set of them, catch them all. And we just gotta introduce everybody, so, and they're all split up in blue and red team, but you'll see, you'll see in a second, in fact, you'll see. Until we hit this music. Oh. Oh yes, thank you very much. We start off with Callum Ferguson. And they are created by Lux slash Kira, the ultimate mom slash dad. Likes finger guns. You decide I saw that, I noticed that. I was like, I'm a big finger guns fan too, I'll be frank. Shout out to all the M-O-T-W peeps and Pickrew, of course, and Pickrew, Pickrew. Very incredible for the OCs. Many of the OCs made with Pickrew. Big fan of it, to be completely honest. And we also see, with Callum, a la Griffith. Created by Ecto, the ultimate prophet is here, also created in Pit Crew, and they are the team known now as Team Monster Hunters. Any monsters in this game, you better watch your back, because they're not just hunting for monsters, they're hunting for gold should chaos reign. But we also see, new to the fray, but neither competitor new to the Hunger Games, from the shadows. On red team, we see, created by Flame Shadow Stalker, it is June Ken, it is the ultimate ninja returning once again, this art by the delightful Wist, and this is the ultimate ninja. You know, hiding in the shadows, but maybe controlling things from the shadows, the ultimate manipulator, the ultimate charmer, Toasty Strudel, created by Toasty, the ultimate Charmer slash Manipulator is here, and this tag team is looking to get some work done. Art by Zcon19 at Fur Affinity. And as we move on, we see another new team in Opposites a trap. Blue team for the both of them, and first and foremost, we see Nevi Dunkel, created by Rio. It's the ultimate medic. Here to heal anyone who's in danger. The art and the character are both done by Kalen Kalinski, a very talented artist. See their art sometime on the Discord. And also a part of Opposites of Track, created by Oxus, the ultimate squad leader, Koya Xram. Also art and character by Kalinski, Kalen Kalinski. But a part of the Terminus RP, and there's a link to that if you want to check it out. As you can see, all of the links, by the way, all the links in the report cards menu, in the report card, the report cards link in the description, in the pinned comment. Go and check them out. Be sure you do just that. And the first of our returning teams, actually, Blood Red Roses sees a return. First and foremost, we see Yui Yu Dash One. Created by Malkant Draw, it is the return of the ultimate android or the ultimate killer robot. But once again likes flowers and that means that she 
and once again likes flowers, and that means that they do enjoy Rosaka Yonoko. Created by VV, the ultimate gardener is here to 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 calm the savage beast that lies dormant inside of Yui. And can blood red roses use that to claim victory? I'm not sure. But we've seen them, we love them. They've been here for a minute and they're teaming together again this season. Tragic Tale. See Skyland 8. The super high school level bad luck. The ultimate bad luck. Created by super high school level bad luck. Here today in this game with... The ultimate storyteller, the ultimate Hunger Games mentor, created by Zhao Julio, a supporter of the Entourage. But we're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that part out. I'm not here to start any beef or continue my 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 my. We'll save that for Thursday. I'll I'll talk about the Entourage on Thursday. Don't you don't you fret. But JFJ is back today, and we must move on. Two competitors who have been in tag team action before, but have now found themselves together as a part of the team Smooth Moves, and boy do they both have some smooth moves. Kujo Minoru, created by Zoro, the ultimate seducer is back. This artwork by Titan Twins at Twitter, so be sure to check them out. And be sure to check out Don Rapa, Hope's Providence. Once again, links on the report card list. Be sure to check them out. And Amber Robinson, the ultimate B-girl created by Thunder, ultimate Thunder Boy, is back again. Here to potentially dance her way to victory, and 33% chance to dance her way to the titles are by Miss Ari Licious at Twitter once again. You know where those links are, you know where to go and check them out, so please do so. And a part of Blue Team, any means necessary. We see the ultimate assistant here for the assist. Melody Mute is back. I'm sorry, created by Melody Mute. Melody Ballette is back once again. And you can check it out, Melody Mute Arts on Twitter. You see that fantastic artwork, you wanna go and check it out, be sure to check out Melody Mute's art. But she is assisting a returning Thales Winsler. And Thales, created by Shiro Kuro is the ultimate apprentice. And after succumbing to many painful deaths, many painful early deaths rather, Thales has gone through a little bit of a training arc. And he's determined to win the next Hunger Games no matter the cost. And this time, he'll have a tag team partner to help him. That tag team partner is Melody. The ultimate apprentice was willing to team with a demon to get the job done. Hopefully, he can do just that. And then, we move on to a very joyous team, a team of two good homies, created by Cherry. It is a returning Kiki Asobu, and Kiki, former Agent of Chaos, Kiki is back once again, this time in tag team action with the buffest man this side of the planet. You know him, you love him, created by Mew Mew, the ultimate delivery boy, Buff Santa, Alexander Adams is here. And I bet you never saw this coming. Is, are those, is that, that, is it the Mets? No, it's not the Mets, it's the Phantom Thieves, baby. Michi Akahoshi. Created by Super High School Level Sleep, the ultimate paranormal investigator is back again. You know, all sorts of ghosts, specters, spooks, phantoms. When you see phantoms, you got a little bit of a, gotta get a little bit of thieving action in there too. Legault Simmons, the ultimate thief created by Theo Vellum, is back again. And you can check out once again. You see those links down there: Festival Apparel on uh, Instagram, DNA for Gaming on Discord. Check them out. Check them out. And on to our next team as we approach the end. Astral. Planes. We see Spirilius Starin, created by Chessunar, the ultimate astral magician, has come back. Not come back, this is actually the first time that Spirilus is here. Spirilius is here. And you can check out Sukiato at YouTube, actually. 
But with Spirelius, we see a returning once again, gracing us with their presence. Mochi is back. Created by Art Gamer, the Ultimate Traveler is here, traveling through planes, by planes, but not just any plane anymore, an astral plane. And of course, we could not have a fantastic episode as this without our champions. Lee Takahashi, rated by Jethro, the ultimate guitarist, is here. One half of your tag team champions amped up, the other half being Roma Zorea, rated by Nakorn, the ultimate DJ, and uh, who knows what else. So they hold on to those titles, but they may, be, they may just be defending them today. Due to the influence of Catch 'em All, your tag team agents of chaos and OC action, Morisaki Tomayashi, Simpin' for RR is that creator, and the ultimate gamer is her title. The artwork created by Zell herself. And lastly, we see Eric, we call him E, created by Malo, the ultimate Pokemon fan slash hero, is here. Now they've been doing all sorts of training, I know for certain. But I do believe it is time, after I said the artwork is by Ellen Amino, to get the show on the road. And before I even ask you, in three, two, it's time to find out if chaos reigns. Are you ready? Actually, let me shuffle it one more time. I like to shuffle it every now and then. You get a shuffle going on. Did it actually shuffle? It doesn't look like it actually shuffled. Ah, who cares? We're about to spin this wheel, and it's about to be real good. Are you ready? 33% chance that Amped Up puts those titles on the line. Let's find out if that 33% chance is hitting today. Will chaos reign? Will the titles be on the line? I spin, and I spin, and we will see that. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. We'll stop that recording and uh, hold that music, and I'm going to put this jacket on real quick. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I've worn this jacket so many times <laughs> recently. <laughs> and we're going to wear it one more time today, because now it's true. It's true. The following matchup is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Dongon Rampa Hunger Games OC Tag Team Championships. And it does begin right now. So let me ask you, officially, who are your picks? All of these teams, you know what they're here for. Now they're here for a title shot. Any of these teams could walk out with a championship and your, your top six teams? Oh, oh, honey. Those top six teams are walking into the finale, even if they lose today, they go on to fight one more time for the titles. But today, if they win, oh, they're champions. Let me know your picks first, second, and third in the comments, in the live chat. I'm gonna make my picks. I know that you guys have already maybe started to make your picks already, but then you saw that wheel hit and you were like, oh, 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 three times, <laughs> three episodes in a row, championship episodes. Let's see what unfolds. I got a pick. I gotta pick by any means necessary. And do you know why? I think Thales is over dying early. I think Thales is saying, by any means necessary, we're winning this one. Give me Phantom Thieves for a second, because you know, it's all about the Phantom Thieves, baby. Love those Phantom Thieves. And lastly, give me Blood Red Roses for third. I don't know why. They've been close before, and I just feel like they... They're not like a truly dominant team, but they are... Uh, 
they can get the job done every once in a while. Will they get the job done for first place today? That, I'm not sure about. But I do have to say with certainty. That right now there's a pretty decent gap between, uh... <laughs> between blue and red team, so... <laughs> I'm kind of rooting for red team just for a little bit of a catch-up, but right now... Blue team... Seems like they have this season firmly in their grasp, but... A championship ad, a match can change all of that, especially if red team sweeps today. Let's see what unfolds. What chaos lies beyond the start round one button. And let's see. Who's walking out of here as Don Gone Rampa Hunger Games OC Tag Team Champions? Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go down. Let's scroll down. It's one button that we must click to see what unfolds in that button. Let's start round one in that button. We hit right now and that button. Let's do it. Let's go ahead. I know some of you are on the edge of your seat, so let's do it. Oh, it all begins. And I'll tell you what happens. It is what seems to be a bloodbath. The tribute stand on their podiums and the horns, the horn bears, if you could please do what you do best and they already know. They sounded the horns! They did just that! They sounded the horns! And with that, we must continue. We, we gotta actually keep on, keep it, keep it on, keep it on. That's the wrong proceed music. That's the right proceed music. Cause it's championship action. And Amber doesn't know how bad things are going to get. Doesn't know yet how bad things are gonna get. Oh, that's a, <laughs> that's foreboding. Oh, dope. Rosaka just found a water gun. That tricked out Super Soaker is bound to cause some chaos. Alex and Kiki team bush and ambush Allah in her first game. Allah, no. But it's Ortiel, so nobody's truly out until it's all over. Uh, Navi hums a song to herself. Toasty looks for someone dumb enough to believe him. Melody knocks Yui out <laughs> in a fist fight and puts a death collar on her. They put a death collar on them. No! Why would you do that to him? Uh, Yui finds some leather scraps just enough to patch together some rudimentary clothing. It looks rather caveman like Mochi. It's ready to give it their all this game. And best every other creation. Michi finds a waffle, really? Oh dope, Callum just found a fishing rod. Good, now they can catch catch all the fish. Legault puts a death collar on Toasty while he's asleep. Koya finds a big stick, probably comes in handy to bash some skulls in. Uh, Koya hits, then immediately <laughs> bashes Romaz's head credit for the heart and he's dazed, he doesn't know what's going on. Skyland twitches uncontrollably. Uh, we don't like to talk about who I picked. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Spirelius uh, really wants to end things on to roll with Thales. Thales bites the dust. That's not my fault, you guys. That's not my fault. That's your fault for calling me a jinx. You guys, you know, you guys, I, you, you guys made it real. You know, a lie told often enough becomes the truth. Look what you've done. This is your fault. <laughs> Kujo finds a handgun with just enough bullets to be useful. JFJ feels like his own partner slowing him down did quick work of Skyland June. is determined to survive this. Eric prints out a bunch of invitations for his beach party! Will it hit today? Lee. Doodles are thumbs, Kiki's being adorable as always, and Murasaki's thinking of plans to get out of here. We have lost just three. And ladies and gentlemen, those three actually do get the saddest of all moments for. Allah. Fails. Skyland. Three competitors gone, but this game is far from over because no teams are completely out. Even if your partner's out, if you make it into that top six, you did it for the team. Or, there's revivals, it's Ortiel. Literally, anything could occur, but we must proceed because the titles are on the line. You see this jacket? That means the titles are on the line. And you see that this is not blaring, shining? That means it's not a new champ alert. We gotta see what unfolds. Could we have the first ever OC Tag Team uh, retention? It's a possibility. We'll click next round and see. Oh, we see a whole bunch of a whole bunch of orange. Mochi is attacked by a pack of wolves, but feeds them all as they relax by the campfire. Come the morning, uh, one seems to have left the pack to aid Mochi. Eric wants to be helpful. Legault finds a dapper suit and puts on. It's really quite fetching. June sets down a trap, but as he sees as as June does that. 
as he does that. Callum really doesn't want to, but they find themselves having to get rid of June. Oh no. Goodness gracious. Michi kills Eric before Morisaki can react. There's nothing that Morisaki can do. Something inside of Yui snaps and Yui is frenzied. Everybody run. Everyone run. Amber can't take her eyes off of Kujo. JFJ knocks Callum out in a fist, uh, fist fight and puts a death call on Oh, that's a lot of death callers. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's a lot of death callers. <laughs> Some people might be doomed. Romance actually snaps out of her. Rosaka fills her water gun with steak sauce. Then Rosaka so cool. Oh, attracting the wild bees. Why do they want steak sauce? Who make a feast out of her. Oh, no. Alex plucks a uh, tree out of the ground. Oh, gosh. He's buffer than I remember. Toasty searches for anyone who can get this death collar off of them. Kiki uses the mysterious gas to knock out Amber and Nevi in order to put death collars on them. Melody is going to take advantage of this heat and opens a lemonade stand. Morisaki just wants to be, just wants it to end already. Actually, Kuja fires his gun at the champion Romas but misses. Lee uses the title belt to hit Michi from behind, leaving them dazed. Spirelius just stumbled upon a stray water balloon. Uh oh. We've seen what that could potentially do. He can now unleash summer-themed chaos on unsuspecting tributes. It all started. When Alien Device did what it did, it stuck itself upon Navi's wrist, which she considered a hit. Now she's got superpowers, she's an ordinary kid, she's Navi 10, and we have lost six competitors. Once again, no teams completely out, but six people are gone. It's the saddest of all moments for June, Eric, Koya. And once again, you might be out, but you might not be out for real. It's Ordeal, revivals are possible. It's just, will they happen? That much, I can't say with certainty. But I can say, whoo, a lot of unfortunate things have happened this round. We lost three, three solid homies, but no teams are completely out. So everybody's still good. Everybody's just vibing. It's just a good time. But we got to get to our, our top six teams. That's the, the most important thing that's going on here. How are we going to get there? By proceeding. It is the only thing that we can do. Let's click next round and let's see what unfolds. Ooh, Mochi. Six is Pet Wolf on Kujo. Kugu, Kujo gets torn to shreds by the ravenous animal. That's a shame. Toasty attacks Legault from behind, gets rid of him. Rest in peace, Legault. Once again, still no teams completely out. Michi comes back to her senses. Kiki is ready to give it her all this game and best every other creation. Spirelius summons every ounce of his power and summons a wizard robe. That's great. Melody tries to kill Spirelius, but Spirelius' wizard robe carries him away to safety. Rosaka refills her water gun in the river. Murasaki puts a death collar on Alexander Adams, not Buff Santa. Romaz hums a song to himself. JFJ won't die like the others. Callum. Cast their rod into the river, and out comes a boot. Not even a pair, just a, a single boot. Alex hates the way that the death collar feels on his- Well, I mean, yeah, you, it's not meant to be comfortable, Buff Santa. It's a, a death collar. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Amber finds uh, the AV's Arena Climate Control Remote. Thought I had it in my pocket. Hey, Amber, don't don't use that. That's that could cause a lot of mayhem. You shouldn't. That could very quickly in the game. You might want to hold off on using that one. Yui looks for their next victim. Nevi transforms into a small but brilliant alien and hides from dangers. And Lee lays the title belt on the ground, grabs Rosaka in a headlock. But Rosaka has the wherewithal to reverse this and hit an RK out of nowhere onto the belt, breaking Lee's neck. We are down three more. And once again, no teams completely out. Shockingly enough, nine people are gone. So I guess we're just going to hit the saddest of all moments, four. Kuja, Legault, Lee. Five more into your saving grace picks. I guess we could just take a take a quick peek at everybody who's left. One for the Phantom Thieves, Michi. One for Tragic Tale, JFJ. One for By Any Means Necessary, Melody. All of Astral Planes, completely unsurprisingly enough. Opposites of Tracks still have Nevi. Uh, Team Monster Hunter still have Callum. Amber remains for smooth moves. All the Blood Red Roses, Yui and Rosaka. Amped Up still sees Romaz trying to hold on for the championship team. From the shadow sees Toasty trying to ma uh, manipulate his way into first place. Uh, Toy lands completely in, and Murasaki remains for the chaos transferal for catch em all. Will it happen? Well, that I'm not so sure about. We still have 15 competitors left. Five more into your saving grace picks. But for right now, let's just keep on going. We gotta proceed to get there. It is time to keep going. It is time to proceed. It is time to click next round and see. Oh, goodness. 
Amber looks around for stuff to scrounge. What in the world? Romaz just found a chainsaw. A chainsaw. Oh my. Mochi finds a turtle on the beach. Slowly approaches them. A new friendship is born. Michi wishes they uh, wishes she could just go home. Callum cast their rod in the river and pulled out a tank? Uh, like a whole tank? Kiki buys a cup of lemonade from Melody's stand. Kiki seizes up and begins foaming at the mouth before falling. Unmoving. Huh. I guess it was poison. Uh, Yui puts a death call on Mochi while he's asleep. Now. This is interesting. Because. Navi, Toasty, Mochi, Amber, Alex, and Callum are all forced to play the majority game. Alex received the most votes, but was unfortunately the sacrifice, so everyone else perishes aside from uh, one player of Alex's choosing. Alex chooses to save Toasty from death. We've lost Nevi, we've lost Mochi, we've lost Amber, and we've lost Callum. Nevi's team is out. Mochi still holds on to Hope. Amber's team is out. And Callum's team is out. We'll see what unfolds. That was a lot of red in a single event. But we gotta keep going, don't we? Skyland's lifeless body putrefies silently. Toasty is looking for an easy out. Alex finds a rat in a cave and feeds it some fruit. More of them show up, and because of this, you know, he feeds all of them. He's got an army of rats at his disposal. Murasaki knocks Spirilius out in a fist fight and puts a death collar on him. That's terrifying. That's terrifying because you see what those death collars can cause. Uh, JFJ tries to kill Rosaka, but Rosaka retaliates and kills him instead. Rosaka then looks up at a tree and sees Mistletoe just hanging above, and Spirilius watches the blood off of his wizard robe. We are now down to just nine. Well within, not well within your saving grace picks, but we are within saving grace picks range. So after the saddest of all moments for Kiki, Navi, Mochi, Amber, Callum, JFJ. And this is all outside of potential revivals. Because those could happen. Let's scroll up, because it's time for you guys to make some picks. I know you're, gosh, Blood Red Roses are completely in. Good on them. We're down to your final nine. The top six teams will go on. And I have to ask you guys a little little quick question, actually. Hold on. Between Blood Red Roses, From the Shadows, Toyland, By Any Means Necessary, uh, Phantom Thieves, Astral Planes, Catch Em All, and Amped Up, we have eight teams. Technically, both members of Amped Up are on another team <laughs> which is interesting which means if they win this it'll be an interesting it'll be an interesting exchange but i gotta you know we gotta wait and see because it is your final nine and it is time for your uh how do we how do we say this again oh your um saving grace picks we start with blood red roses they are completely in they are the only team that's completely in and shockingly enough they were one of my picks so they're probably going to be my saving grace picks as well yui and rosaka both remain from the Shadows, Toasty is carrying on for June, and for Red Team, Toyland still sees Alexander Adams, the buffest Santa there is. By any means necessary sees Melody who's gotten so close but has fallen so short before. As we keep going, the Phantom Thieves sees Michi. Michi was always a strong performer, but has not claimed that victory. That's something that we want to see from Michi. It could happen today for the Phantom Thieves. They could be new tag team champions. Astral Plains, Spirilius. Carry on for Mochi. I'm sure the people are still rooting for Mochi through Spirilius, and they might be rooting for Spirilius too, because that's one heck of a mustache. Catch them all, sees Murasaki for the Chaos Transferal potentially, and then we see amped up Romaz trying to hold on to his title. We must ask you who do you got? First, second, and third. Make those picks. I will make them as well. I gotta stick with Blood Red Roses. Even though they're red team. I gotta take them for first. I really do. I really do. For second, give me Toyland, because uh, I love Buff Santa. That's my guy. That is my guy. And lastly... Catch them all! Murasaki! I think Murasaki's gonna be like, 
I've held singles gold. I want tag team gold today. She's gonna make it happen. Or at the very least, she's gonna find her way into that tag team championship match. I think it's time to find out what does happen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is... Your final nine. Six teams will move on. And I must say... It's time to name them. Eight teams remain. The next two that go out... It's a big ol' yikes. But for right now, it's... Blood Red Roses. From the Shadows. Toyland. By any means necessary. Phantom Thieves. Astral Planes. Catch them all. Amped up. It's your final eight teams. And we stand tall. They have the same heartbeat, the same pulse. Is that of? A samurai woman. Are you ready? Let's click next round. Let's see what unfolds. Let's proceed. And we lose three folks. In a fit of frenzy, Yui creeps up on Toasty, snaps his neck. Murasaki just wants it to end already due to incredible success of her lemonade business. Melody is now filthy rich. Rosaka challenges Michi and Alex to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Alex eats the most pancakes and wins entry into that Buff Santa's in the World Pancake Championship match. You don't have to tell me twice to put this man's on the list. Alexander Adams, Alexander Buff Santa, Buff Santa. I'm so proud of him. But using his chainsaw, Romas brutally chops Melody into pieces. Romas then tries to take out Buff Santa, but his rats protect him and kill Romas, and you know what that means. It's a new champ alert, and I refuse to keep this on the entire time because that will ruin my, like, right eye because it'll just be there the entire time. It's really it's just, you know, squishes his water balloon in his grasp. He's like, oh. Yes, I feel the power vested in me. The power of water balloons. We will have new tag team champions, but we must first pay our respects with a terrible turnabout for Toasty, Melody, Romas. And since the tag team champions were just filling out their, uh, their tag team duty together, we're at our final, are we, we're at our final five teams. Amped Up will be breaking up, but they will both be back in different teams next time. Which means Melody, and by any means necessary, technically take that last spot. On a technicality, but they get that last spot. It is your final six. It is two members of Blood Red Roses. It is Alexander Adams. It is Spirilius. It is Michi of the Phantom Thieves. It is, uh... I think that's it. That's everybody. That's your final six. Unless I, unless I just miss somebody. Hey, it's still Samurai Woman, technically. Michi Spirilius, Alexander Adams, uh, Murasaki, and both members of Blood Red Roses. That's all six. That is all six. And we must proceed to see which of those six comes out on top. Are you ready to click next round? Let's do it. Ooh, nobody perishes. But round six begins with Spirilius shaking those wizard sleeves and a thousand tiny animals fall out. Alex thinks about Kiki and sobs quietly. Rosaka just wants it to end already. Murasaki puts a death call on Rosaka while she is asleep. Michi eats the waffle. Michi likes it. And Yui looks for their next victim. And I have to tell you, I know we have our final six decided, but that's outside of revivals. And... How could you? Alex has a nice day with his rats. <laughs> but Michi hangs up an open sign, a neon open sign, and Yoko's items and misfortunes is now open, and all the tributes are forced to shop. Awesome. Great. Rosaka gets a 15% discount on a vision. Great. They sell those there too, huh? Yui gets a 99% discount on a dope chainsaw. Spurlius, he's working at AV's Wares and Despairs. <laughs> he didn't even go to this arena event. He went back to my store to restock the shelves. Thank you. 
Thank you, my guy. And Morisaki gets a vision as well. I don't know what we have no idea what visions they got. Cause you know what? Yokos, they don't they don't label their visions. They are just like, oh yeah, vision's probably in a discount pail. Goodness gracious. Morisaki snaps out of it. Alex also works there. It's gathering intel. For me. He works at Yoko's and is only there to gather intel for me. You want to know why? Because he secretly, secretly works for me. You hear that, Yoko's? I got buff- Oh, well, Buff Santa's about to perish, but I still got Buff Santa in my corner. Don't forget about- Don't forget about Buff Santa. That's my guy. That's my guy. Hey, um... I guess it's still a Samurai Woman, technically. Uh, Spirelius has a fishing rod. He can catch catch all the fish. Michi's got a wish ring, which could be a real game changer this late in the game. In a fit of frenzy, Yui creeps up on Alex Slaughter's him. And while we thought that Blood Red Roses were going to be on top of this, Rosaka and Yui sleep in their camp the night. Spirelius uses the pyro vision to set their camp ablaze, burning them both. Immediately takes out the both of them. Which leaves us down to Spirelius, Murasaki, and Michi. The Phantom Thieves catch them all for Astral Planes. For right now, it's a terrible turnabout for Alex, Rosaka, Yui. Outside of revivals, and it would have to be a lot of revivals, they are all still going on to that championship match. However, I can say with certainty that one more, uh, one more thing we have to decide. We got Murasaki, we got Yui, and we got Spirelius. No, we don't have Yui, we have Michi. Michi often gets so close but gets so far. Murasaki has tasted gold before, wants to, stay, wants to taste it again, and Spirelius. First game could come out with a victory. What will unfold? I think it's time we find out, but between those three, Morisaki, Michi, and Spirelius, all three are caught in what we like to call within a championship match within these Hunger Games, a Golden Crises. A fate. Are you ready? Let's go on. Let's proceed. Let's see what unfolds. It is. From atop a tree, Spirelius shakes the sleeves of his wither robe, materializing an anvil which falls onto Morisaki. There will not be a chaos transferal, but she will be back next time in tag team action. And Mochi, one, I'm sorry, Michi wonders how best to use her wish ring. Michi's gotten this far before. Can Michi do it for the Phantom Thieves? Or will it be Spirelius? For right now, it's a terrible turnabout. Four. Morisaki. Who was close, but we'll be back. Could rain chaos again. And will definitely earn her way into that match. That tag team championship match. So... Without further ado, there are just two people left, and I have to ask you, live chat. One question and one question alone, and that is, uh, mm, uh, just who will it be? Spirelius? Michi. Spirelius! New to this competition with the greatest mustache known to these games. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, you're the top contender. You, you love the, the little curly cute mustaches. Spirelius wants to take Astral Planes further than they've ever uh, ever gone in their very first game becoming Tag Team Champions. But Michi stands in their way. Michi has been so close so far so many times. Never held gold, has been here for the longest time. Could being a part of the Phantom Thieves with Legault be the one thing that Michi needed to change everything, to turn everything around and become a champion. Could Michi win for Legault? Could Spirelius win for Mochi? I don't know, but you've made your picks in the live chat. You've made your picks in the comments. It's time to find out. Between these two competitors, between Spirelius, Michi, Michi, Spirelius, Astral Planes, or Phantom Thieves, one walks out with the title, and the one that walks out of the title, with the title rather, is nobody yet. Asperlius walks into a very strange machine designed to view the world unseen. His molecules get all rearranged. He's got ghost powers, which is a big time banger in the final two. Michi's got 
a wish. And that wishes for a longer nose. Wish ring shimmers for a second. And she's got that big old nose. The schnoz has increased. But as we go on to the next round, does it all end? It does. And it ends with the thieves. No, it doesn't end with the thieves. It ends with Michi getting mad. And is enraged, but was not able to survive the blow from the hands of the newly half ghost Spirilius, which means it all ends here. Between the Phantom Thieves and Astral Planes, one victor was decided. And after this terrible, terrible turnabout four, Michi. First game, you could call a beginner's- in fact, I'll, I'll save all of that jargon. <laughs> I just immediately had jargon in my- in my mind and I was like, oh, let me save that, let me save that. As I announce, ahem, <clears throat> your winners. You could call it beginner's luck, but I call it... Beginner's, uh, awesomeness. <laughs> the mustache, the wizard robe, the ghost powers, everything was written in the book of victory for Spirilius, carrying on for Mochi, and they came out on top and became your winners. And new, and new, hold on. <clears throat> and new. Don Gone Rampa Hunger Games OC Tag Team Champions. For Red Team, for Mochi, it's Spirilius. Astral Planes, take the win, and take the titles. And so here we are. Six teams go on, and one team comes out as new champions. Congratulations to Astral Planes in their first team, in their first session together. Mochi makes a return, Spirilius makes an entrance better than anyone could by winning the title. Impressive, that's all I gotta say. Congratulations to the both of them. They are your new Gone Rampa Hunger Games Tag Team Champions Astral Planes. They're jetting to worlds beyond our human understanding. Congratulations to them, and congratulations to the other teams that made them. We can actually bring up a tag team bracket. We see Astral Planes. We see the Phantom Thieves, and we see catch em all Blue, I'm sorry, Red Team, Blue Team, Red Team, and since this was a championship match, that gave Red Team a big boost. Blue Team still has a healthy lead, but now the, the gap's closing just a little bit. 71 for Blue Team, 57 for Red Team. They're coming back, slowly but surely. They're gonna need some more help. But, it's the second half of the season, and that's things where things get a little bit more crazy with points. <clears throat> but joining those three teams, we see Blood Red Roses, Toyland, and by any means necessary, any means necessary, was able to scrap into that top six position. And that's it. Your top six teams. I'm pleased. I'm sated. And I enjoyed it. Hopefully you all enjoyed it as well. Next time, uh, not... Oh, that's all. That's what I wanted to mention. I was looking at, like, the schedule that I have for the, um, for the season. This episode was technically supposed to be next week. <laughs> and there was supposed to be a no-week gap between the last OC episode and the free-for-all. But instead it'll be a week gap between the free-for-all. And yeah, it, it all works out. It works itself out. I'm excited. This is fantastic. Congratulations once again to Astral Plans. Spirilius was 5 KOs too. Rosaka and Yui, Blood Red Roses together, they had the same amount as Spirilius by himself. Alex had 2 KOs. Callum, Romance, Melody, Kiki, JFJ, Mochi, Michi, and Toasty all had one. Everyone else, nah, no KOs, but they all had a fun time. That is this game. And even the teams that didn't quite make it. Do not fret at them. They will all be back for that OC free-for-all. And I think I know what I want to do for the free-for-all, but I'm not saying a thing yet. You might not find out until the trailer for the free-for-all. I think it's going to be an interesting concept, and I think it might cause the whole... It might turn the entire OC division on its head. 
I'm excited for it. Stay classy. And once again, thanks to everyone who submitted. Tag, uh, OC Action comes back not next week, but the week after that? That sounds right. <laughs> I'm not gonna promise that, though. You'll know eventually. It's coming back, though. It'll be single action. And I'm gonna be excited for it until then. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, definitely. For, um... Fire Emblem Fates, but maybe right after this or later today for more Somnium Files, because I have another episode of that ready and I'm recording another one probably as you're, not as you're watching this, but before you watch this, so get ready for that. It's been a fun ride so far, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy, but this is all about OCs, make sure to check out all the OC report cards and their links in the description, and as always, until next time, toodaloo, like crew. Thanks for watching.